good afternoon to everybody now today we are going to discuss music therapy raga chikitsa indian raga chikitsa actually raga chikitsa indian classical music is a golden link between all the indigenous systems of medicine and of course the western research methods of western medicine i have devised it in that way actually what are its principles before we start any uh, process we should know the principles of that method then how it works the theory and practice of raga chikitsa what is achieved so far and after all why should there be an integrated healthcare approach why can't we function, function separately all these questions are there but there should be a policy for implementing a integrated healthcare system for the sake of national as well as international healthcare welfare and peace of whole human beings so that is why raga chikitsa the music therapy of indian classical music has become very important now what is the basis of raga chikitsa indian raga chikitsa actually it is ayurveda alone the basic is ayurveda in ayurveda there is something called shabdiga bheshajam shabdiga means voice sound sound nada shabdiga bheshajam bheshaja is medicine sound as medicine shabda as medicine shabda brahma as medicine it is that principle which we use as the swara the actually the swara is both dravya and adravya dravya because it is it you can measure it so that you can measure but at the same time it is adravya which is because it is immeasurable as well both yugapad that is simultaneously it is measurable and immeasurable so it is a spiritual thing just like brahma it is seen and unseen both like that nada brahma this is nada brahma it is equivalent to god it is god signature so nada is yugapad it is spirituality so simultaneously dravya and adravya adravya is the shabdika bheshajam just like brahma prakriti which is balanced in sama rasa now why is this measurable why is swara measurable there is a mantra swara it's the lower most mantra then there is a tara swara upper upper way so from mantra to tara there is a height you can see that the from mantra to tara there is a height and from the hraswa hraswa is the sa dirga sa from hraswa to dirga sa to sa there is a length so there is a length and a height so there sh there should be a volume also is it not so the this hall has a height and a length naturally it should be under there should be a volume for this so this type of measurement is possible for swara that is why it is called dravya even though it is not seen with your eyes actually it is the vibrational patterns in the raga in or in the swara or in the you can actually call it the sudhisthana the swara sthana has got some vibrational patterns they are used in different ranges in different ragas actually that is what produces the ayurveda effect now i have given, coming to more to the gross part of the thing it is actually based on kala chakra the wheel of time you know and something like this shadja and panchama sa and pa are samam samam means equalizers they are the equalizers balancers they balance everything just like the tridosha are balanced here the tridosha are balanced by the sa and pa in music the others you don't have to go to the names because i as i said i'm not going to the details of the music there are some some sarasthanas which increase vada some increase pitta pitta vardhaka vada vardhaka kapha vardhaka tridosha vardhaka then there are some sarasthanas which increase both vada and pitta and others which increase increase pitta and kapha this classification in ayurveda actually speaking nobody has done any experimental work on this because so far no ayurvedic 
hospital has done work on this part but i say this particular part which part is actually producing for that you should have an ayurveda physician and a musician combine to assess these things if people are interested we can start that type of things you know this is actually the basis now coming to more to the gross part of the thing it is actually based on kala chakra the wheel of time you know every day each day is divided into 24 hours this again divided into night and day and the night and day again divided into small small pieces of time time intervals and for each of these intervals the hindustani ragas in north india the hindustani ragas i'm not going into the details of that the night ragas the day ragas how they alternate and all for 24 hours they have got specific ragas for each time span now this is called the samaya chakra or the samaya raga that is for the daily routine what we call the dinacharya you know dinacharya in ayurveda is for all of us you no know? routine daily routine is for all of us just like that there is a dinacharya that is the hindustani type of samaya raga then the other one is a cosmic cycle which includes the brahmanda that is the starry heavens above the astronomical part now when you come to that each year is divided into six seasons there are six seasons vasanta vasanta season two two months each you know there are 12 months two months each one season vasanta raga is for vasanta ritu itself so it is for us it is easy to start from that that's why i am starting from that vasanta raga for vasanta then grishma ritu you can use uh, the sri raga sri raga is for grishma then varsha ritu malhari malhari raga is for varsha ritu when sarat ritu kannada raga then hemanta indala or sindala raga that is the name then for shishira it is the mala raga so this is for all people depending upon the ritu through which our part our geographical part is going through india may be having a different season when america is having another no so that will change for our, us for the west and the east the seasons will change so the ragas also will change so it is not same for everybody then the, the third one is the chakras now the chakras actually you know there is a muladhara chakra there is a swadhisthana uh, there is a manipura chakra there is an anahata chakra there is a vishuddhi chakra there is an atna chakra these six chakras are each divided into right and left parts and these right and left parts each is divided into six that is once one chakra has got 12 ragas in that way melagartha ragas are 72 melagartha ragas are the now we we'll go to the last slide again now you will be able to find those incorporated in this chakra you can see the atna chakra atna chakra is actually this one actually we start from the the melakarta chakra start from this part because this is the vocal cord the larynx part vishuddhi chakra from this we start the kanagangi kanagangi starting from kanagangi we the six ragas and the ending with vishuddhi that is 37 to 42 i am not going into that musical details here because you i want to tell the principles why what is the principle what is the science behind this that is what i am talking about not the musical part so 12 ragas for each chakra for vishuddhi for anahada for manipura i have shown it on either side uh, swadhisthana and muladhara then from muladhara straight go up the last chakra that is the atna 31st to 36th raga and the 67 to 72 ragas are for atna so that is upside that picture shows that the entire circle so we have included the cosmic ragas the samaya ragas for 24 hours then the chakra ragas for the yoga thing then we have it also the musical chakras everything in one single picture so if you know this picture well 
actually you can give an assortment of ragas for each one of your client this we have already seen this also we have seen uh, so going back no the next one for each of these chakras from muladhara to atna there is a diff definite organ and there is a definite plexus what you call in sanskrit as muladhara is in allopathy western medicine it is the pelvic sacral plexus of nerves so english and sanskrit has no problem if you know the structure well just remember that one is in one language the other is in another language but the, what they say is the same thing so muladhara chakra is corresponds to pelvic sacral plexus then the swadhisthana corresponds to the hypogastric plexus then manipura to the solar plexus anahata to the cardiac plexus then this part that is the vishuddhi to the cervical plexus then this neso ciliary pituitary pineal axis just like that up to that and the cerebra that is the sahasrara contains all this brain contains all these six so it is an assortment of all these chakras so this is our structure it and it is through these nadis that all our organs get their functional status all our organs including their motor sensory everything now this i have just shown how the cosmic and bioenergy chakra are synchronized and how the 72 malagartas are our relation to the cosmic energy and our own bioenergy field this is what we are using in malagarta raga as well as in yoga practice so we are going to integrate yoga ayurveda and music and it is for this purpose that i had to create 72 malagarta raga that to in malayalam because most of my patients i worked in kerala so most of my patients wanted a language that is well known to them but the, there was no malayalam malayakra ragas so i had to create it for the sake of my clients that is how that creation came now this i have shown how these ragas i don't know whether you can see that the actually this i have shown the lowest graph is that of the kanagangi and the salaga that is kanagangi is the uh, first malagarta and salaga is the 36th that is the small lower most graph and the most upper the uppermost one that one is i cannot walk if i could have walked i, I would have preferred to go and show it to you but because of some inability i cannot walk please bear with me uh, actually i also feel a little bit <laughs> uh, restricted because i am sitting in some place actually as a teacher i should have walked around and shown it to you but impossible no please bear with me so the top most one is the rasika priya and the chalanata chakra so just see that within these two this the uppermost and the lowermost all the others are shown like that and if you look carefully it just resembles our spinal nerve structure is it not so spinal nerves are like this coming out no that is why the siddha medicine and ayurveda says that there are 72 nadis male nadis are 72 in human body and in the cosmic veda says there are 72000 madhu nadis so this 72 is divided or ramifications into 72000 and anantam endless in the cosmic chakra so the nadis in the astrophysics and astronomy and the nadis in our body are related by this number and here i have shown how this graph is a little bit expanded i have shown just for understanding that and how those each of these chakra are there now now we are going to connect this 72 with the prana prana hamsa 